This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Tuesday, November 18th. We begin with the tension simmering in the St. Louis area. The governor of Missouri taking the preemptive step of declaring a state of emergency ahead of the grand jury decision in the police shooting of Michael Brown. The National Guard has been activated to assist police if protests turn violent. Grand jury could decide any day now whether Officer Darren Wilson will be charged. Convicted killer Charles Manson may soon be a married man. The 80-year-old Manson and his 26-year-old girlfriend have been granted a marriage license. The bride-to-be, who goes by the name Star, says a couple will wed next month. She said marriage ceremonies at the California prison are on the first Saturday of every month. She expects to be married in an inmate visiting room. She moved from the Midwest years ago to be closer to Manson. And a family from Georgia is taking a drastic step to get medical marijuana for their daughter. They're packing up and moving to Colorado where it's legal. Seven-year-old Brooke Isabella suffers from up to 100 seizures a week, and her parents say the marijuana is a big help. So after it built a legalized medicinal pot in Georgia stall, Brooke's family said they were not willing to jeopardize her health any longer. And finally, Buddy the Beagle Mix from Texas couldn't stand to see his 85-year-old owner taken to the hospital. So he rode for a bit on a step on the outside of the ambulance. During the trip, another driver flagged him down, flagged the ambulance, alerting its driver, and Buddy was taken inside, made the rest of the trip with his owner, and we're happy to report he was released from the hospital later the same day. Well, get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.